Alright YouTube, Mco Ford here. We are going to show off the first run of the fish OTK combos. Uh, as you can see, basic starting hand is uh, pretty awesome. So, Swap Frog, Special, Mill, Remove Frog, We. I didn't mean to special that. Tribute both for Quilkanth. Use Quilkanth's effect. Alright. For this effect, we're going to go into the deck and we're going to special summon double Fishborg Archer. Alright, now that we have double archer, double oyster master set up, you have to remember that archer is also a tuner. So your basic move here, depending on what your opponent's uh, opening is, you can overlay oyster with archer. XYZ Shokan. Uh, into Leviathan and then overlay Meister number two with Archer to make Acid Golem. Now, this play gives you 3k, 25k and uh, 2700 which is an OTK by itself I believe it's 8200 that it will do to your opponent so this is the first central OTK that you can do uh, going back to the drawing board here so you use cool can through discard we special summon cool can doesn't special summon from the graveyard just resetting back up everything for the combo so remember, first combo, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, depending on what your opponent has on board um, at this point, you can synchro these guys together. So bada bing, bada boom. You bring out Vulcan, and then you get your token. Rawr, token. You can build your chain link, Vulcan chain link one, token generation. Chain link to uh, pop off the token that your opponent brings out to bounce back whatever that your opponent has on board with Vulcan. And then at this point, you can XYZ or Synchro with the Archer and the Oyster Meister. Um, it'll give you, you know, Gaia uh, or Blue Wolf. And you also have the option to go into Black Ray Lancer if your opponent has, you know, Zen Mains or anything like that on the board. Just general things like that, um, but if you want to take the synchro approach, at least you know you'll get another free token at the end of the line. We'll go Gaia for demonstration purposes. It just it depends what your opponent has on the board, but you know you get the token. You have Vulcan, Quilcamp, and Gaia on the board. It's not quite an OTK, but it puts you in a very very strong board position, to say the least. So back to the drawing board here. There are, I believe, other formations that you can do as well. Um, this one's a bit more risque, per se, because per se, you have to remember that you only have two cards left in your hand. So, let's go Synchro. I'll be like, I'll be the cool kid. I'll make... Uh, where did Gaia go? We'll make Gaia. Alright, now you get the token generation. So that gives you the ability to go 7 at this point. So you're just like, okay, cool. You know, I'll go 7. You go 7, you can go into Gunganir. You have double cards in your hand that you can pop. So I'll just go, okay, pop. And pop to clear your opponent's back row. Now, it depends on what your opponent has on board. You can overlay these two together to make our good friend, Big Eye, 
And that should also put you in a very strong board position, just because you can detach and take one of your opponent's monsters. Um, those are the pretty basic uh, combos that you're going to have to work with. You have the Leviathan as a goal and OTK, and then you have two very strong board positions that you can set yourself up into. And then you also have to remember that depending on which board position you take and which approach you take with Cool Camp, that it may or may not leave you you know, vulnerable. It just kind of stinks that we don't have the uh, level 1 guy anymore, Fishborg, but I still feel that you can do optimal plays with the setup. So I know that there's plenty of other combos that you can do, but uh, this is what we're working with on right now, uh, just because, you know, um, if you want to be in an even more awesome position, uh, there's this move. Uh, you in go into Gaia, generate token, and then you can synchro with those, and then make armory arm, and then you can move armory arm into the spell and trap card zone on top of Quilcanth. That gives you a 3800 monster that can run over anything that your opponent has on board, and then deal 3800 to them, as long as it's in attack mode. Uh, the, other, the Oyster Meister can't attack, which is a pretty sad face, uh, but you know, if your opponent would do anything to like target him, you can distribute the Oyster Meister to ensure that he lives, but you know. It, it happens. So, those are the board positions, like I said, you know, Cool Camp with 3,800 on it, with a guy backing it up. Not exactly a bad position to be in, but let me know what you guys think about these combos in the comments down below. Like I said, there's many, many, many more that you can do to accomplish and get you wherever you want to be. This is just the start of this awesome return of Fish OTK. Alright guys, like I said, please thank Sora in the comments down below, and thanks guys for being here. Later guys.